All right, hello, hello, and welcome back to another devlog episode of my Terraria fan game. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. First of all, I want to show you a few things. Uh, let's zoom out, and we've got the uh, uh, most of the map. <laughs> most of the map done. I can't talk there. And uh, there are going to be some secrets. Uh, lots of secrets, actually. This is um, if you don't know. I mean, you just watch this for the first time. Uh, basically, it's going to be uh, like world building of Doom style, in highly inspired by Dark Souls and, to, and Terraria. Those three, Doom, Dark Souls, Terraria, are the uh, inspirations for this. And uh, let's uh, just dive right in and show you what's going on. Got some skeleton bros around here. Yeah, they're just doing their thing. I've got this, I made this, I call it the Dark Soul, because you know, my love for Dark Souls. Anyway, it's just a little, looks like a soul in a bottle, basically. I used the bottle from Terraria, and just darkened it a bit, and then uh, just animated it to go around and around. That's a special item to get you into a, a specific uh, area. You're going to need a lot of those, but it takes uh, a hell of a lot of crafting materials. Anywho, um... Yeah, don't worry about that right there. Uh, let's see here. This, you go up to it, you can uh, craft stuff, <laughs> obviously. I see that there's an overlay of stuff. So that's a problem. Not sure why that's like that, but anyway, you go to it, you can craft. You can uh, look at, you can flip through recipes with Q and E, but it's apparently not doing it. I, I think I've screwed something up. Anywho, that's beside the point. Uh, yeah, so you'll be able to flip through recipes and then press enter to craft if you have the required crafting materials uh, below, like amphibian boots. They require one selfish boots and one frog leg. There you go. If you have those, you can uh, do it. So yeah, plus uh, it shows you how much it sells for at the top there for that uh, item, which is two gold. So, uh, here's te a, te a test chest. <laughs> this uh, it's a wood chest will be found in the dungeon here. This is not like the dungeon from uh, Terraria, which is dungeon bricks. This is a dungeon I use great gray bricks, gray bricks in two formats, which is three by three and one by one. So I'm making my own dungeon, you know, like typical RPG style dungeons. Well, not typical, but my style. Anyway, open it, grab some loot. Where'd it go? It went behind it because it, okay, loot spawns directly onto the chest, so it will push it out of its collider because of Terraria's physics. And uh, you can get a step stool and a bone. I know it says clone. I have to make it where it says it will say its actual name. And if you see in that right there, I still don't know how to fix that with the uh, overlay, uh, overlay. I'm going to show you where this button is. Oh no, a hidden wall. Button does that. But you can go and pass the wall here. Well, I want to show you real quick the... Go to the player. Right there. Uh, you, oh, you can't see it. Well, there would be... Um, I'll show you later. This is, I'm not going over there. That, uh, that's a wall that's open. I uh, forget. Uh, oh, that's a secret area. That wall, you won't be able to get. That won't. You ain't getting there through there. <laughs> that's just because I have it open to get in there to uh, access it. Anywho, the vines again. Go. Let's go through the environment. I see it says it's. Well, why is the FPS going down to 30? Weird. We can go up some steps. Let's run for here. And I'm not sure why it's going down to 30. I've optimized quite a bit of the block areas. Like, uh, specifically, example, let's, uh, like this wall, this roof here, or ceiling, or, uh, the roof, ceiling, whatever. Um, yeah, I called them ceilings, but apparently I called this one roof. <laughs> Weird. Anywho, there used to be a one by blocks all o around through here, and that was just way too much. And for an area over 
to where I'm already standing nearby, this area right here, just became so many blocks. Now all of these walls are single pieces. Just makes it yes, you have a little overlap, but like you're not gonna be seeing that. Like who's gonna who's gonna care really? See? And then this Oh right, I know why. I don't have a ramp there. Uh cause cause I'm using the ridge body and the stairs. I'm not using the ray cast, I'm using the ramps. If that if it, if you don't like that, well, big deal. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just gonna use them anyway. Anywho, this is a broken bridge, which you need to be very careful on when you uh, are walking, so I wouldn't go fast. And let's go down here. You'll see there's uh, additions in the walls like that. That tells you that there are uh, paths back there. Could be secrets, could be other stuff. This one's open, but we're not going that way. Sorry, not showing you that. We'll go up here, and I'll show you. Now see the ramps, how they react. This there's no code for that to make it bob up and down stairs. It's just got because the way I've set it up, it's got a nice little natural feel of walking up steps. This is here because uh, on the edge of the ramp you would run into it, so you, you need an extra wall there to uh, just to make it not feel awkward when you walk into it. All right, and there's that, and there'll be a loot up here. So there'll be stuff going through here, and you can. I might put a fence here, but I'm not sure. You can go back down, and uh, or I might just let it be able to drop back down. Might put a chest up there with a specific collider area. Don't show you that. Sorry, you can't see the secrets. You gotta need. You need to know what. You need to have that discovery of what's back there, right? So I don't want to take that away from you. So that's why I'm not showing you secrets. I mean, I can show you where a secret door is, like, you know, like this right here. You know, this is a this could be this could be a secret door. Like, what's back there? You'll never know. But to open it, that I'm not telling you, because it's not going to be go up to it, click on the door. Mm -mm, nope. There's other uh, alternate ways to do it, like that. You can see. Oh wow, what's back there? See, I can show you this because you're going to walk up to this and like, what is that? And you can see back to yourself when you're if you're playing. So yeah, stuff like that you can you can see. I want you to see it because I want you to know that. Hey, how do I get back there? Anywho, there's that. Oh yeah, that doesn't. I need to get a ramp there. And I think I need to get a ramp there. Three ramps, I forgot to put in. Uh, that will be a secret area as well. There's a wall there. You can see that it drops down. That's about as much as I want to show you. And that's that. And you can see that's not a secret area. That's just open space because of how I did the walls to op to optimize really. And the same thing with like that. There's open space there and all that uh, good stuff. Ah, uh, let's go and oh, put this back up so we can teleport back there. I want to show you. Why is the... Oh, I know what's going on. It doesn't loop. <laughs> no wonder it was so dead silent. The music's not looping. My mistake. Uh, right. So press M. Now. Oh, yeah. Hang on one second. So. They cost Dark Soul. The Dark Soul, right? That'll be this right here. It cost me three. Why did it cost me three? It's supposed to cost you more, but whatever. Okay. I think I changed it back. Or did I? Hang on. What? T There's 18 different tiers. Okay, it's set on is tier zero. So let me start over. I want to show you uh, the highest tier. To, to give you a little explanation. So 18, put 18 in there, and it should cost me quite a lot. It still cost me three. Interesting. Ignore that. Don't know why. Hmm. Maybe I should. 
18. At the start. I think it's because it's calling it at the start. So... Yeah, cost me 300 Dark Souls to get in here. That's what I was going for. Okay, it's at the start. It's my mistake. So, bomb chance is going to be a thousand to one percent of bomb chance. Yes, you will get a bomb or you'll get the loot. Uh, there is a bomb uh, ca counter. So, if you get a number of bombs, you won't be getting any. Once you hit that, that limit, you will not be getting any more loot out of that. The. As you can see, there's a 105% chance to get loot, obviously, okay? So you're, you're going to get loot, or you're going to get a bomb. Or you may get nothing. So, each of these shows the gray brick 3x3, three three and the, you know, number... What, oh, sorry. What we're looking at, and uh, it shows you what it contains, the chance, and the bomb chance. So we got copper... Co Interesting. Okay. Copper coin. Oh, it changes on all of them. That's weird. I'm not sure why that was like. Was like. Anyway, I got a bomb. I could get an aglet, or I could get a guide. Frog leg, or an umbrella, or nope. There we go. Got a glow stick. There is also an item limit. So if you reach that item limit, you will not get any more bombs. I mean, not any more loot. So we got glow sticks. You can pick them up. They'll add to your. Where is that? They add to your loot. Glow sticks. Glow. Okay, that's repeating. Thank you. Uh, glow sticks. Where are you at? Right there. I just got two. Why did I get two? So let's. Uh, there's a throwing knife. Let's see, I got throwing knives. Two. Interesting. Hey, I mean, hang on, how many aglets do I have? One. Excuse me. Okay. Apparently. When the loot spawns in, ancient iron helm, it already gives me one. And then now if I... Okay, that's a little strange to me. Anyways, like, there's two different wall layers. And uh, multiple... What you call it? Multiple... Um, uh, t tiers, I guess. One, two, three. Not tiers. Uh, levels. Kind of same thing, but whatever. Anyway, if you pick this up, this doesn't. These uh, these specific uh loot items like that will not be uh added to your hand like the one I'm at right here. That will be. You'll get those like typical Dark Soul style. But uh, yeah. Uh, let's see, where were we at? Sorry for the weird cut. I had to stop real quick because I thought something, somebody was honking outside, but it's not for me. So that's my mistake. Anywho, let's get back to right where we were. Uh, I'm showing you the loot. Um, yeah, and loot acts a little weird because since it's spinning, it's going to push things around because they have uh, bot. All the loot has bots gliders. So yeah. And then you can pick up your loot. I don't know why I would be getting double the loot all the time. But that's something I have to fix. Let me go and... Uh... Yeah, I want to show you this. This is pretty cool. Right, what I've done here. Start the game up. And then there we go. The blue starry walls. Pretty cool, right? Let me uh, just duplicate that. So you can see... That's it. If it was an actual wall, right? Isn't that awesome? I don't know. I think it's pretty sweet. Anywho, uh, I have a second controller. That's for testing purposes, really. 
And then, uh, that's all the loot. Uh, something else I wanted to mention. I should have made a list of things I want to mention. Um, yeah, so that's that wall, that's down there. That won't be uh, available until, you know, you've gone and selected it. You know. Anyway, uh, well, I think that's about all, all there is. I do need to finish uh, this environment. These are not secret rooms here. These are, you know, just no other rooms. This will have a large room here, the second floor, and then third floor. And I'm considering moving this to the third floor. Or it might just stay where it is, which is on the second floor, and that's on the first floor. And then I've got to add the environment down here. Where's that? Uh, let's go. This is a secret area from that area. I'm not going to tell you how to get down there, but I will tell you that there will be something here and then down in down in this environment which will be a, a large uh, boss room I'm not going to tell you who's going to be in there as for you to discover uh, and then there will be a once you defeat that boss you can push a button you can either leave via the other door or you can go back down the hall and this will open up this will open up right here I'm willing to tell you that it's like that and then, well, not like that, like, yeah, you'll be able to go down, drop down, and down here will be a second boss room. This will be more challenging, so you may not be prepared. Anywho, that's that, I believe, for the time being. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, maybe drop a like or subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Peace out, peeps.